Today on Football Notes Channel, we take a look at Mexican legend Jorge Campos. His career in Pumas began as a striker, as the starting goalkeeper at the time was Adolfo Rios. He didn't want to sit on the reserve bench all the time, seeing their team need a good striker. This makes him exceptional in football history, something very unusual. And today on his birthday, we want to remember his career. Before we proceed, please do well to subscribe. Hit the notification bell to get notified when we upload new videos. Campos Navarrete was born in Acapulco, Guerrero, on October 15, 1966, with his 46 goals, 34 of the league, 5 of the cup and 7 of the Champions League, scored throughout his football career. He is the most scoring Mexican goalkeeper and fourth most scorer in the history of football. He defended the goal of the Mexican national team for two consecutive World Cups, the United States 1994 and France 1998. He was recognized by the International Federation of Soccer History and Statistics as the third best goalkeeper in the world in 1993 and is currently the best Mexican goalkeeper above Oswaldo Sanchez, Adolfo Rios, and Oscar Perez. Jorge Campos was one of the smallest goalkeepers in the world. He was known his quality in the management of the area. His quick reaction and the agility that he showed in each of its sets. In addition to being a player with a strange versatility. Since he also played as a striker. He was characterized by his striking shirt colors goalkeeper. In 1983 he was part of the club Delfinas de Acapulco team and made three months trials at Cruz Azuli. In 1985 he entered the Central Reserve of Pumas, and in 1986 he moved to the Professional Reserve of the same club. On December 11, 1988, he joined the first team of Pumas, where he remained seven years. His first game with this team was against Santos Laguna. He was a champion in the 1990-1991 season. Curiously, he started playing as a striker since the first goalkeeper was Adolfo Rios at the time. He also played for the Atlantean, Cruz Azuli, Tigres, and Puebla. In the Blue Cross, he won the championship in the 1997 winter season. Although he was used as an alternate striker. In the first season as a starter, 1989-1990, he played forward. Scored 14 goals in the league and seven in the CONCACAF tournament. He entered the Atlantean in 1995-1996, and subsequently the Los Angeles Galaxy of the US League. In 1998 he returned to Pumas. His first game with the national team was on November 20, 1992, in the Mexico-Uruguay match, 1-1, held at the Luis Brata Fuentes Stadium in the port of Veracruz. His titles include, in 1987-1988 the runner-up with the UNAM, CONCACAF club champion, 1989, league champion with the Pumas, 1990-1991, runner-up of the Copa America, 1993, champion of the Gold Cup, 1993, and champion of the USA Cup, 1996. Jorge Campos scored 46 goals in his career, the most colorful being a scissor goal that he scored as part of the Atlantean. He became very popular for his ritual of changing his uniform to leave the goalkeeper position and continue in the game by participating as a striker. As a tribute, in the Japanese cartoon Captain Tsubasa, appears a character based on him, Ricardo Espadas. This character is the goalkeeper and captain of the Mexican national soccer team. During the era of Ricardo Lavalp's technical management, Jorge Campos Navarrete was a technical assistant in the Mexican national team. His popularity was such that he appeared in the Nike commercial Good vs. Evil, next to Eric Cantona, Alessandro Del Piero, Ronaldo, Rui Costa, Patrick Kluivert, Ian Wright, Thomas Brolin, Paolo Maldini, Edgar Davids, and Luis Figu. During his retirement after the World Cup in Korea, Japan, Campos Navarrete joined as an assistant to the Mexican national team at the invitation of Ricardo Lavoe. In addition to participating several times in meetings with the rest of the world team, along with stars such as Messi, Ronaldinho or David Beckham. He is currently working as a sports commentator on TV Azteca with Luis Garcia and Christian Martinoli. Although he occasionally plays in exhibition games called Star Games with other retired players. If you enjoy this video, 
put your comment below. Please don't forget to subscribe and share our videos to support our work. Thank you.